up with yarrow, Achillea millifolium. Uh, so yarrow, of course, is a styptic, champion styptic. It stops bleeding. It's also astringent, which again means it tones tissues and aids to balance fluid retention. It has a very complex and particular blood intelligence. Yarrow knows how to stop blood and also knows how to move stagnant blood. Uh, so there's a lot there. Um, it's antimicrobial, really fast healer. I will soak um, soft tissue injuries, like soft tissue swelling and fluid congestion. I will soak those kind of scenarios in yarrow tea. Uh, I like to use the root for toothaches. Um, internally, it's it's pretty complex too. It, it, it's a digestive liver stimulant. It can make you sweat and raise a temperature to help break a fever. Uh, lots of energetic work with grounding and boundaries um, can happen with yarrow. And the forms that I use it in, in a first aid context are powder. The powdered leaves is a styptic and flowers too, both and. Um, tincture oil or salve and liniment um, and yarrow does have salicylates um, so you want to stick with ex external usage and, and low doses internally you can also use the flower essence um, for internally for boundary support or use the oil externally for energetic boundary support um, as some options for people who can't have any salicylates and um, the last thing I just want to say about yarrow is that it's been found in some of the most ancient burial sites um, on the earth with humans. So I love, and there's, it's one of the most amazing, like cross hybridized, like widespread worldwide um, plants. Um, so pretty much everyone's ancestors have worked with it. And also like, as long as we've been human, we've been working with yarrow um, from what we know. So it's extra special. Did I say salicylates are okay for external use generally? Yeah, that's my understanding. Yeah, um, but you might like again if it, there's like a wound that's so significant that it's like semi internal when you're doing topicals, um, it might be good to just check in and cover all your bases in terms of risk factors for salicylate, yeah, reactions. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, are certain colored flowers more medicinal versus ornamental? Thank you for asking that. So I use the white yarrow flowers um, for physical medicine, um, and then I love using the different ornamental yarrows like such as the pink yarrow and the yellow yarrow I use those energetically so I make essences with those um, and uh, I really I'm like obsessed with pink yarrow and if you do any other studying with my other classes like you'll hear me t talk about pink yarrow a lot um, but in terms of just the like super concrete physical medicine approach um, yeah just the white the white variety is what I know of Great. Thanks for watching. I'm Bruna Morshaw of Well Deep Remedies. Leave a comment below about what you learned from this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the caption for a link to sign up for my mailing list for more free educational content from me, a disabled femme clinical herbalist. The herbal first aid class handouts that accompany these videos are also linked in the caption and available for purchase. Visit welldeepremedies.com for more. Thank you, and ta-ta for now. Bye.